You've been doing Tupac since day one. How do you feel about the people that push the narrative and say that Tupac, he started acting different after he played the role of Bishop? Pac was always passionate. Pac was always passionate. But Pac was passionate on both sides. There's, there's the Bishop character, there's Juice, and then there's Brenda's got a baby. You know, it, 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 as artists, we should be able to show different parts of ourselves. And on top of the fact, Pac was trained to act. So if that was the character, Pac was kill, killing that character. But Pac was also from the streets. Pac was, and, and people just don't understand how poor Pac was at one time. You know, seriously, no lights. They ain't have no lights. No food. They was going through it. You know, and it's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The story is so deep because, you know, for all intent and purposes, uh, uh, Fanny was a single mother. My pops was on the run. Fanny had finished fighting the case against the feds. And she was a Black Panther. It's hard to get gainful employment when you <laughs> live in the revolutionary lifestyle. So they, they really struggled through that. And that's another narrative that people have been pushing for a while now. And I don't know where it came from. You got some people that's comparing Tupac to other rappers and they saying that Tupac, you know, he didn't grow up poor or he didn't grow up in the hood. They don't know. Pac, uh, yeah, man, Pac also lived in Baltimore. Green Mount Ave in Baltimore. Y'all niggas ever been to Baltimore? Shh. You know what I'm saying? And then we got to the West Coast and, you know, L.A., Old Town, and, you know. So we've been through several hoods, you know. So just to clarify, for all the people out there that's pushing that narrative, Pac, he was always like that before the Bishop role. It, it, it just intensified. It just intensified. You know, he was presented with different problems, and he acted this how Pac would act about those problems. He was always passionate. He was always uh, 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 intense, you know, and that's how it manifested. And being broke, being poor, being that poor make you angry. And a lot of his anger come from poverty. A lot of his anger come from poverty. Real talk, man, real talk. But speaking of movies, right, is it true that, you know, Tupac, he auditioned for Cool Runners? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know anything about that, yo? Yeah. I'm, I was, um, I would uh, help him rehearse for his auditions and shit. And uh, uh, he was telling me that they want him to do this, to be, be <laughs> play a Jamaican. <laughs> and I was like, what? He said, yeah, they want me to play a Jamaican. This is bobsled shit. I don't know, uh, but it was Cool Runnings, yeah. Wow, so he actually did audition for Cool Runnings, man. That would have been crazy, yo. Yeah. He was a hot actor at the time, so he was getting some good auditions. Why you didn't get that role? I I don't know. Just like the, 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 the football, he auditioned for some football movie, and he was... He was running around the house with a jersey and a sweatband. He got all into character. All Nick can't play no football at all. Bought a football. We bought a football and everything. To, and uh, but it just wasn't him. He he wasn't the athletic type Nick. He was the you know the poet, intellectual, the warrior. Oh, uh, but he he auditioned for a football movie for real. God, yeah. damn, I'm trying to think. Um, the repl was it the replacement? Uh, some something, something like that. I I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll get the answer and hit you back on, on that trivia right there. <laughs>